Take a look at these. These examples were created with Rive, which recently introduced the ability to create responsive layouts from within their editor. This brings us one huge step closer to utilizing Rive to create entire user interfaces for the web from within a single Canvas element. Now, you might be wondering why this is a big deal. Well, to answer that question, I'm going to ask you a question. Were you around back in the days of Flash? See, Flash allowed you to build entire websites within a timeline-based, keyframe-based, low-code editor approach. This allowed designers to be way more creative than we are today because it allowed us to create interactive animations without having to touch a single line of code. Now, Flash, of course, died out due to security issues and the introduction of mobile devices, but I think Rive is poised to become this generation's Flash, but without the negative stigma. And the reason I think this is the case is because it has to do with the existing constraints on creativity as it pertains to UI design and front-end development. Take a look at this example. It's quite impressive, right? Well, to achieve these types of interactive effects, you absolutely need to know how to code or you have to hire somebody who knows how to code. Not only do you need to understand HTML and CSS, but you also need to understand JavaScript as well. This alone is a huge barrier to entry for designers because not only do you need to learn HTML and CSS, you need to learn JavaScript. Now, post Flash, if you want flashy types of projects like this, there's a strong chance you're utilizing the GreenSock animation platform, otherwise known as GSAP. GreenSock has been around for a long time, but the major problem with GreenSock is that you have to know JavaScript. I don't know about you, but designers, we like to design. We don't want to have to code. It's an entirely separate process in the brain, and it's also a very slow process. But with Rive, you can achieve these types of interactive animations without having to code, and this is huge. Their platform is set up within a timeline keyframe-based approach similar to how Flash was set up. And the brains of the Live platform allows you to connect all of these timelines together in what's called a state machine. Now, there's been a few things preventing Rive from being considered as a complete web design solution. One of them was the lack of responsive design abilities, which has just been remedied with their introduction of layouts. You can now create responsive designs from within the Rive editor that will work on browsers. Now, this is a huge step going forward that will get us one step closer to the inevitability of utilizing Rive for creating websites. Now, there are still a couple key limitations that I'm confident will be addressed within the next year. One of them is accessibility. Now, I spoke with the Rive founder and they will 100% be introducing accessibility features. One of the other limitations is their lack of support for things like shadows, glows, and blurs. See, because Rive utilizes their own render engine, they're unable to utilize CSS properties for achieving these common effects. And that's because Rive is multi-platform. Whatever you create within Rive can be utilized not just for web browsers, but also for iOS, macOS, Android, Flutter, Unity, Unreal, even C++. So in order to cater to all of these markets, they have to have their own render engine. As such, stuff like blurs and glows have to be created from scratch within their render engine. And this too is definitely going to be addressed. So once these two key limitations are addressed, it's going to unlock a new world of creativity. Now, going back to GreenSock though, now GreenSock was just purchased by Webflow. And this is also a very interesting development because as most of you know, Webflow is a no slash low code editor as well. Now I have to imagine they're going to allow you to harness the power of GreenSock within their GUI, their GUI, their graphical user interface, which means you're going to be able to utilize GreenSock Lake type of capabilities without touching code as well, which is fantastic. So I'm personally excited to see how this industry starts to shift going into 2025. I think it's going to be huge and a much needed paradigm shift for UI UX designers and front end developers alike. Now, if you're interested in learning more about Rive, definitely check out the top link of the description here as I will be putting together a large course on utilizing Rive for the web. 
So what do you all think? Let me know below and I'll see you all soon.